where we are today about to embark on this trip as opposed to where we started is uh, huge. I think that our guys really didn't understand the amount of work that we were going to put in here because you have to really be in shape to not only perform well but to not get injured and being a sort of winter sport team we haven't ever been in shape in the middle of the summer tip-top shape we're usually using that time to get into shape so uh, watching our progress from the first practice to the last practice of how our guys uh, attacked getting in condition was, uh, was promising and exciting to watch. We couldn't put in everything that we wanted to put in for the season, but I think we put in enough where we can play four games comfortably, guard our guys and, and work on some things. Uh, but in that short period of time, we probably only have a quarter of what we would normally put in by now. First and foremost, Angus Brandt is going to be the guy who a lot of people are going to be surprised by. He's uh, worked diligently all summer long. He didn't go home at all. He was here taking some tough classes and and using the the new workout times that we can that the staff can work him out as a great opportunity to improve on some skill stuff and and begin to get in shape. Uh, so he was really impressive during the practices. Uh, Ahmad Starks uh, was very impressive. Uh, he's gonna, those two guys are going to be the two of the leaders on the team. Uh, I think people are going to be re pleasantly surprised with where Roberto Nelson is by the time the season starts. Uh, so of the returners, those, those are the guys I, I think that are, that, that's kind of stood out in these practices. And, uh, and then the freshmen, the freshmen are going to be able to help us. Uh, none of them, will, I don't think, will, will beat out the starters, at least not at this point. Uh, but I certainly could see all three of them having an opportunity to earn in a lot of playing time by the time we get to the middle of the season. Daniel Gomez, who folks out there know, broke his leg his freshman year and was out the entire year, and he's just really getting back into playing shape. I would say that he's about at 70%. And his 70% is, uh, is enough to make us a force on defense in the post. Um, you know, he still has a little hitch in his gait, but uh, um, he's, he, he's practicing. Uh, he'll be playing on this trip. Uh, and I think he'll give us a level of sort of post defense that we, ha we haven't had in the past. So I'm really excited about having him uh, on this trip and seeing what he can do in game situations. I think the most important thing about taking a trip like this are the 10 practices you get. Uh, so we want to come back from this trip healthy. But outside of that, I want to make sure everybody gets ample playing time so I can, so, so we as a staff can see, see where everyone is and can possibly fit in in the fall. Uh, it's great to get the uh, new players, the three freshmen plus Daniel Gomez, some uh, significant minutes so that they can sort of get themselves in the college basketball playing condition. Uh, but then, you know, our walk-ons, who the guys who work really hard and don't get a chance to get in uh, regular season games, I'd like to get them in games too. And then finally, you want to work on some of the stuff that you're not you haven't been good at or you need to improve on. And from last year, I think we need to improve on our our man-to-man -man defense, which we played for the first time as, a, as our main defense last year, and our transition defense. We want to work on those two things. And what a great opportunity to work on them with pro teams who are going to be pushing the ball up the court on you. The rules are more... Uh, aligned with the NBA than they are with college basketball. We'll play four quarters, first and foremost, four 10-minute quarters. Um, there is a 24-second shot as opposed to a 35-second cl uh, shot clock. Uh, there are various other rules, like uh, the, the one rule the guys think that they're going to take advantage of, but they won't be able to because it's so ingrained, is that once the ball hits the rim, you can knock it off. That's one of those things that our guys are looking forward to trying. But uh, speaking from experience, it takes you almost a half a season to get in the mode that you can tip the ball when it's on the rim. Um, 
instead of a 10 second uh, backcourt uh, time allowed to get the ball across into the front court, it's eight seconds. That's another rule that's uh, sort of an NBA rule. Um, you don't find too many five second calls over there because of the 24 second shot clock, so that'll be a little bit different. And then the style of play, it's gonna be a very physical game. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, a faster game I think it's going to be a grown man's game, as we like to say, where there's going to be a lot of battling. There's going to be a lot of uh, edginess. We're playing against. We're going to be playing against guys who are trying to make professional teams. So there's a lot at stake. Aside from the ten practices being what I think are the most important part, the second most important part of this is the cultural experience that that your team gets that they wouldn't normally have. I mean, we're we're going to take quite a few kids who have never been out of the country out of the country and uh, we're going to see things that most people don't get to see uh, and I'm really excited about visiting uh, uh, places like the Eiffel Tower, the traditional sort of tourist attractions like the Eiffel Tower uh, but also uh, uh, we're, we're going to have dinner in Mont Montmartre uh, we're going to uh, go to the Salvador Dali Museum. Uh, we're going to go to the biggest international flea market in Madrid. Uh, we're going to a an FC Barcelona Real Madrid soccer match, which is, you know, probably one of the biggest events in the world, uh, which is going to give our guys a little perspective on uh, international sports spectacular as opposed to, say, the... Super Bowl or the Final Four. Uh, so I think all of those things are culturally are going to um, open our guys' eyes. But in addition, they're going to get to sort of live for two weeks over there and see how people live differently and how they live on a lot less and uh, the, the, the lifestyle differences they can compare and contrast. And then finally, the, the chemistry aspect for, your, for the team internally is uh, what what, I, what is something that I'm looking forward to seeing them participate in and grow with? Uh, you know, trips like this they 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 bring teams together no matter how hard uh, the games are.